Tonight, we have new insight into a dangerous and growing trend. A new survey shows a staggering increase in the number of teens being targeted in so-called sextortion schemes. It's when criminals pose as a romantic interest, they encourage them to share nude photos, and then threaten to publish those pictures unless they get paid. Then Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser has more on the warning and the shocking number of young people who say this has happened to them. I had this conversation with my son probably a month or two ago, and look what happened. Here we are. Words of warning from the mother of a 13-year-old recently targeted in a sextortion scam. I wholeheartedly believe if he had access to money, he would have paid this person off in a second because he just wanted to make it go away. A shocking new study from Snap Incorporated, the parent company of Snapchat, found that among Gen Z teenagers and young adults, 65%, a full two-thirds, have been subjected to attempted sextortion scams. Blackmail involving an exchange of sexual photos and videos, then a threat to publish them on social media platforms. This specific scam um, is targeting teenage boys, typically between 13 and 18 years old, and it seems like they are identifying students that are heavily involved in clubs and athletics that would care about their reputation. And it's happening here. Earlier this month, St. Pete police warned about a staggering increase in the number of online sextortion cases, 34 of them involving both minors and adults, twice the number reported to them over the same period last year. Sometimes it could be difficult to find a suspect because they can be in different countries. They can use use different technologies to block their address or block their true identities. Sadly, in at least a dozen known cases, the young targets of these crimes have died by suicide. Experts advise never responding to someone you don't know online. Never take or send pictures of your private parts. Don't switch media platforms to chat with someone and report online threats to parents and or police. In St. Petersburg, Eric Glasser, 10 Tampa Bay. This most recent survey included more than 6,000 teenagers. Now, the FBI says that last year law enforcement agencies received more than 7,000 reports of online sextortion. Most of those targeted, they say, were boys.